Okay, here's our runway. There's the jump point over there. And here's the destination. You ready? Set. Go! Okay, we should reach full speed around the second curve. Three, two, one. Full speed. And then we can jump! Jump! Boost! Yeah! We crossed the entire uh, breadth of the room with one jump. That's awesome. That's really cool. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Okami. Last episode, we entered the Dragon Palace and had an audience with Otohime, the leader of the Dragonian race. Uh, this episode, we're going to be going into the Water Dragon's Garden, because now that we know that the, the Dragonians do not control the Water Dragon, but it's running rampant on its own, we can grab the, the Dragon Orb in the hopes that we can use that to break the barrier to Oni Island, to get inside and eradicate the evil haunting these lands, and waters. Lands and waters. No air, just lands and waters. Okay, so... The dragon guard, or the water dragon's garden, is right over this way. We've already shown the guard the shell amulet, so there are no need for formalities. Let's just head through. Okay, uh, right there is where the water dragon is. But what I would like to do first is see if I can skirt the hole that it's in, because there are some things that we can grab: an infinity stone, and if I can jump up here, there is a stray bead. Okay. And then, right down here, I haven't yet seen anything that's buried, so I don't think we have to worry about that. And then some glass beads. Nice, okay. I believe that's it. The water dragon should be sleeping here, because Otohime said it, it slept here. So we don't want to waken it. But we do want to go, uh, go up to it very quietly. Hmm. What the? It's that pesky water dragon! So much for quick and quiet. Sheesh, Eason, you're gonna wake it up. How many times did that rampaging sea monster almost finish us off? So it makes its home here, eh? That's one huge, nasty-looking mouth on that thing. Think we really could go in there and come back out alive? I mean, we're not talking about the Emperor's stomach here. Uh... Yeah. Even if we don't, we, sh could, we could cause some major damage and, uh... rid the waters of this blight. Huh, <laughs> blight. Inside the dragon. Well, here we are. This is the water dragon's stomach, huh? Is it just me, or is it unbearably hot and humid in here? Hmm, with the way this dragon is running amok, I'm sure we'll see all sorts of gruesome things down here. I just hope I don't lose my lunch. Think we're really going to find that dragon orb in here, Ami? I don't know, but... This is really pretty. Like, I love how they time they tied in so many things. Like, they, they were able to tie in trees in here because they, they're like, I don't know, tasters? They're, they're, what's the word? Receptacle? I don't know. But they're, they're like parts of the body. This is, like, taste buds or those things in the, the small intestines that do stuff? <laughs> I'm really descriptive. I, I, Make it a point not to be too descriptive of the human body, however, because that's just weird. Okay, so, but yeah, I really like the red and blues in here. It, they actually were able to make this pretty without adding a bunch of weird reds in here like they did in uh, Ocarina of Time, which I, I get the I would get the reds. I don't know why I call them weird, but uh, I get the reds. But the fact that they tied in blue into a body, that's, that's really cool. I guess... I guess the water dragon bleeds blue? I don't know. Okay, holy bone holy bone S, really? That's that that's a that's kind of a weird re reward. We have not gotten a holy bone S in a long time. We're kind of beyond that now. I mean, I know that every holy bone S adds up, but still, it, it takes three holy bone S's to equal one holy bone M, if I if I remember right. I believe holy bone M uh, is it, it heals uh, 10 units of solar energy, I think. So yeah, it's it's three three and a third times better than a holy bone s. Okay, these these platforms are rather weird. They're almost mushroom-like. I, I have no idea what they would what they resemble in the human body. Well, this is obviously not the human body, but you know. Okay, uh, make sure there are no buried chests. I kind of wish that you could dive underwater. I think that'd add a whole new layer to the the dungeon design, which 
so far has been very good, but I kind of wish that you could dive. But it makes sense because, you know, I'm a wolf. Wolves, wolves don't really dive. Okay, uh, there's a demon scroll here. I'm going to face it and just tell you guys what was inside. Just, just for uh, grins and giggles and just because it's here. Alright, it was just a headless guardi guardian and a chimera. Nothing really to worry about. No new, no new enemies, just regular old stuff. And by when I say old, I actually mean it. They're very old enemies now. Okay, let's jump up here and power slash this while we're at it. Now that was that was actually the easy way of getting up there. But if you were to fall down, you could actually get up with a power spring, which I do, I don't want to test just because it would take a long time. And I have a really bad history with power springs. Not going to lie, like they just don't get along with me at all. They're probably the hardest to execute technique that I've found. Okay, I kind of have a theory that there are clam shells down there that we can harvest, but I'm not going to test that theory. There we go. Okay. Now, I've, at for oh, there, that's more like it. Exorcism Slip M. At first, I kind of expected these, these platforms to have swimmable water in here, but I'm really glad they didn't. That would have made things a lot harder. Okay, let's go in here. Whoa! I almost fell. And there's something down there. Uh, I, I should probably go ahead and grab it, which means that we're going to actually have to... Come on. Yeah, that, that was a really good jump. I will actually have to get back up with the power spring, which is lovely. And what are these? Like, what are these? That's weird. I, if you guys can hear it, I, I guess I can be quiet for a moment, but this music is very good. I'll actually be silent for a moment so you guys can hear it. It's it's one of the more underrated tracks in the game. Isn't that nice? It it just it's very relaxing and you know, for one of the, for such a place as, as this, as the, what we're in, we're inside the, the stomach or intestines of a dragon, or what, what is essentially a giant eel. It's very calming, and it reminds me of a couple of, of music tracks in other video games. It reminds me, one, of the, 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 uh, theme that plays, I believe, when you're on, oh, is it the balcony in Luigi's Mansion? I believe it's the balcony. I, ho I hope I'm getting that right. It sounds a lot like that, and it also reminds me of a track that would play in Majora's Mask. It just, it's very nice. It's calming, and it just kind of adds a sense of, of mystery, I guess. Okay, oh, wow, we haven't seen one of these in a long time. Wow. They could have actually done, like, a lot with these, I think. Anytime when, when there's a Golden Gate, since Golden Gates are very unnecessary in this game, they should have put one of these. That would have been much much more appreciated, but yeah, these are very rare. This is actually the second healing platform that we've seen thus far. The first one was in uh, Madame Fawn's shop, and that was like in the back of the back of the room, so it wasn't anything that they were trying to show. Let's see, what's in here? A boat? Interesting. And a skull? Rather, wow, that's actually, that's actually a amazingly large skull. It's, it probably weighs more than a Matarasu. That's pretty big, okay. So, the water dragon's been eating quite a few people, I guess. And a bucket, which I'd like to destroy. There it is. Bucket, yay! Gotta love the bucket. You can carry good things. It's the bucket! You can... Let's see, what's another thing that you can do with a bucket? Uh... Um... Isun can lose his lunch in the bucket. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that was going a tad too far, but... I don't really care. Okay. Okay, this this part, wow, this part is giving me big, big uh, the reminiscences. -ing. It reminds me of Hana Valley a lot. Actually, actually, oh wow, wow, this part just right here, just this length from here over up here is cut, copied, and pasted from Hana Valley. Oh, well, that's cool. Actually, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Wait, just one cotton-picking minute. We're not picking cotton, but you get what I mean. Actually, this part was copied as well. 
I don't really want to point out places where they copy and pasted because it makes it sound like it's a bad thing, but I actually like that they did that. Uh, this it's it's very good scenery with the big abyss down there that they actually did something with like there's water down there and right here if you remember in Hana Valley this part would have been it's it's actually mirrored from Hana Valley in, in case it looked a little bit strange to you it's mirrored but it's still copy and pasted and reskinned or recolored and there's a shell here let's put the key there so yeah that's cool but right here would have been the part where we drew the sun on uh on that like picture and we got a we got a sun fragment out of it or something, but yeah, that's cool. I didn't, I never really noticed that. I, I like it because it's been so long that you wouldn't really have noticed, and also it's not something that like is bad. It's it's very cool. Okay, lockjaw, or as I like to call them, I gore. I can, I will never get tired of calling them I gores, just because it's like a a t triple pun. I don't know. Hmm? What's that? It's all tangled up in this flabby stomach muscle. Looks like a glass ball or something. Huh. It looks like an altar to me. Oh, actually, whoa! Guys! This part's from Haunted Valley 2! I, I really apologize for for talking about that. Well, because, like, it, it seems, you know, it, it kind of paints a, like a lazy job, but I, I find it a very good thing. I like it. Don't get me wrong, it's cool, I, I think. So don't don't think any don't think bad of this game just because they copied and pasted something. Every every designer does that somewhere. I, I like I'd rather actually copy and paste than them copy a texture in a new looking model. But, you know, this this is real uh, that's why I like it so much, because I like it when they reskin areas. I don't like it when things look all the same, which this does not by any means, shape, or form. It's a glass ball or something. Wait a sec. I wonder if it's the dragon orb, maybe? Can we power slash it, maybe? Bah, it won't budge. That water dragon sure doesn't want to give this thing up. Must be something really important. Uh, my guess is it's the dragon orb. I mean, it's the only... Well, <laughs> it's the only orb we've seen. We haven't seen any other orbs at all. No. N none of these orbs look special or anything but that one that one is the orb <laughs> okay through here okay okay weird camera angle I can't actually I can adjust it but it auto it auto readjusts back to this angle which is interesting I like how there are crystals I, lo I love how there are crystals inside of a stomach like it just it doesn't make any sense but it it doesn't need to it's just really neat it doesn't fit at all, but it makes the area seem a little bit ethereal, if that if that's a good way of describing it. A dead end. I don't know where we are now, but I don't like the look of that red liquid there. It'll prob it'd probably digest us in a second if we fell in. Uh, I do not want to test that theory, but uh, yeah, that's it looks it looks like it looks like a cranberry juice to me. It's actually kind of delicious looking, except for the fact that we are inside of a stomach, and it's not delicious looking at all. Okay, uh, it is liquid, and so we need to use our technique Acid Spout, not to be confused with Water Spout, and melt that thing up there. What the- what in the world are you doing? That red liquid is raining down now. What'll happen if that fleshy mass d dissolves? Hmm. Now you've gotten me interested, too. <laughs> hmm. Uh, uh, probably wouldn't cause any harm. I think I'm gonna be sick. Look at that hunk of tissue. Looks like it's keeping a lid on that disgusting liquid. Uh, well, for the first time ever, glowy red stuff could be good. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, can we keep doing this? Or is it just going to do that forever? Oh, it's going to go. It's going to blow. Ugh. Kind of a little bit gross. What the... The whole place is flooded with that achy red liquid. We came to find the dragon orb, not to end up lunch. Well, you soon, if there is a place to lose your lunch, this would be the place. Uh, will I get hurt? Yes, I will. It's draining my health. Okay, wait, can we not use... Okay, we can. Use lily pad, though it will... The lily pad will only last for a short bit. So, my, uh, my suggestion is just make a lily pad. And then stand on it. Then jump. 
Actually, alternatively, you could do this. Uh, you could use Gale Storm. That would work too. Get a little bit more distance out of your lily pads. Let's jump over here. There we go. Okay, so uh, if that red acid worked at dissolving uh, the flesh, maybe it would work at dissolving the tissue that holds that orb in place. Let's try. Oh, it's working. Let's keep keep it up. Okay. One last dose. We got the dragon orb! Nice work, Ami! We finally got that dragon orb! Now we should be, uh, be able to break the barrier on Oni Island. Once Himiko locates the island on her crystal ball, the enemy's stronghold will be totally exposed. Boy, you're sh you sure had a hard time pulling that orb out. I wonder if the dragon's gonna be okay. Let's go, Ami. I mean, we, we got the orb. No use sticking around here. What in the world? Are these the vengeful spirits of those the people the dragon gobbled up? No, wait. These aren't spirits. That weird color can only mean one thing. Fox fire. Yeah, the fire the term firefox is a little bit monopolized. These are the two foxes. Uh, believe it or not, these are actually somewhat of a common enemy, ish, not really. Uh, they fight a lot like the uh, the canine warriors except you're fighting a lot at once. Although they do not have the defense of the canine warriors, so you should be able to take them out a little bit more easily. My suggestion is, uh, let's go ahead and equip something. Uh, okay, we already, uh, no. I do not want the Infinity Judge. I would like Seven Strike as a sub, but I would also like Infinity Judge as a main. This is the point of the game where it's not really, it, it doesn't really come to a point where you're equipping the most recent item, you're equipping the item that best fits the situation. Uh, as for items, I think I would like to use a Vengeance Slip, because there are a lot of enemies at once, and inv uh, Brief Invincibility would really take me far. Okay, now what you need to do is, when you attack a 2 fox, uh, as soon as it's stunned... Oh, actually, also, uh, this takes priority. If you see that happening, if you see uh, your ink being drained, you want to immediately attack the fox who's doing it. But anyway, going back to what I was saying, uh, if you want to attack a fox, and once it's stunned, once it's gray, you actually would, it's best for you to leave it alone and attack the others because it'll offer you a brief respite from the onslaught of these foxes and it will enable you to finish them off. Uh, when you attack them to, until they are dead, uh, they actually have a floral finisher. You wouldn't really expect it because these aren't your typical enemies. It is, sorry, it is Power Slash and you'll get two Demon Fangs for it. Uh, where are these? Okay. Uh, now, when, since there's so few foxes, you really want to finish them off until they're gone completely, uh, because they're at such low health. Floral Fincher, come on. There we go. And the last fox. He's almost dead, and he is. Now, the really good thing about these foxes... Oh, and also more will appear once you defeat them. The really good thing about these foxes is... When you defeat them, they'll fly up into the air. So if you're using something like a Rosary, it will not immediately uh, overkill them, which is very good. Okay, let's go ahead and kill this fox. Now, I, I recommended 7 Strike because if you're ever penned down by the foxes or you need to get at a fox who is across the, uh, the arena, what you can do is just do a Short Hop Glaive to cross the breadth of the arena. I keep saying breadth. I don't know why. Um, the width of the arena, and then you can attack the fox steal stealing your ink. Okay. Now, their ranged attacks aren't really that bad. The only thing you really need to worry about... As soon as I say that, I lose my, all my godhood from it. 
Uh, the only thing you really need to worry about is the ink stealing technique and also the uh, the close-up attacks. And there we go, floor finisher. Okay, three more foxes. This should be the last wave. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, also, I should mention, when they're using the ink stealing technique, it can actually stack. So be mindful of that. Even with... Why did I do that? Even with the golden pot, uh, it will not do much. Okay, let's go ahead and use Power Slash to the, for the first time on an enemy. And even though we're out of ink, uh, it was not by their means, and we got some damage off on them. And actually, I'm going to show off Power Slash 2 right here, even though my ink is being stolen on this uh, stun enemy. Because it does so much of their health. So much. Uh, I'm out of ink, so I can't get his floor finisher. Yeah, their ink stealing technique is really the worst. There's, there's no really, there are no real enemies that can compare uh, with such an attack. It's, it's actually a very smart means of defeating Ami, but it's something that can get really annoying. Come on, come on, come on, come on, power slash them. Okay, now you can, it, it kind of goes without saying, you can only power slash them when they are gray. You jerk, they're, they're really spamming the ink steel attack. It actually reminds me of, uh, uh, what's his name? Fiddlesticks from League of Legends. Okay, there we go. Now, you are the last one. You will not be able to use your Inky Steely Steely attack on me. That's the official name, by the way. Inky Steely Steely. Okay, and you are dead. That wasn't too bad. I got a very good... 30,000 yen? What? That's crazy. We haven't had a battle in a good long time. It's very refreshing. You obtained the flute from Spirit Track. No, you obtained the fox rods. What in the world was that? It was kind of freaky. Looked like a bundle, a bundle of bamboo tubes or something. I know. I bet those are the fox rods that Busty Babe wanted. You know the ultimate weapon against the Dark Lord. Wow, two for the price of one. We got two awesome weapons. Ah, I knew it. You should you should have tried to pull that orb out more gently. Oh, snap. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, Ami, I love you. You're so cute. I'm too young to be digested. Let's get out of here. My thoughts exactly. Uh, the place is coming down, even though it's not like a t castle or tower. And we once ha again have the return of the wild orange insane arrow from above and beyond, because it's leading us to get out of here as fast as possible. I never really mentioned this, but there are no stray beads in this area or collectibles whatsoever, so you want to get out of here as fast as possible, avoiding all of the acid raining from the sea. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 I'm sorry. Come on, get this quickly. No, come on, let me have it. I want the treasure. Okay, we're good, okay. We have the treasure. Now let's go. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out. Okay, we're almost out. We're almost back to the beginning. Oh, snap. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, snap. That's bad. That's incredibly bad. Can I get up here faster? Move. Faster, Pokey! Get out of here! Thank you! Ow! Get out! Up! Here! Jump! Jump! Okay, let's look behind us real quick, because I'm curious. Okay, we're good. I, I thought maybe something would be chasing us, like, acid or something, but we're good. Uh, the place is about to come down, but we should be good. Yeah, there's the exit. No way are we going to be stopped before, before 1 minute and 40 seconds pass. Let's just serpentine, serpentine, serpentine. Uh, check out what, uh, what's on this island because I didn't see, and then go. The water dragon? It's dead. Now, what are we supposed to do? We have the dragon orb, but no water dragon for it to control. 
no matter how hard Himiko tries to locate Oni Island. Without that dragon, there's no way we can break the barrier. Hey, something's coming. Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. I'm afraid there's no time for left for me to speak now, but I do need to thank you. What for? And who are you anyway? I am King Wada. The 27th King of the Dragonians. King of the Dragonians, Wada. King of the Dragonians? So, then, you were that water dragon? It was I, the water dragon, god of the sea, ruler of the deep. O oh, great god Amaterasu. As you well know, there are ill omens heralding the coming of great strife throughout Nippon. Even the Dragonians have suffered under the forces of darkness. They seek to prevent me from using my power. The power to break the barrier that protects Oni Island. I waged battle against the Dark Lord, and consumed the dark, the dark instrument he wielded. But the instrument lodged in my stomach, and the in, but the instrument lodged my stomach and drove me to madness. Instrument of the Dark Lord? You mean this thing? Yes, the Fox Rods. Without the Fox Rods, the Dark Lord has limited power. Now all of the monsters are doing everything they can to locate them. I see. They're like a key to the, his power or something. I can rest easy knowing they are in your hands, Amaterasu. I also ask that you give my wife, Otohime, the Dragon Orb. It is the heart of the dragon. It will bring peace to my people. Alas, my end is near. I have slain many innocents while in the, gri the grip of madness. I pray that their souls may rest in peace in these watery depths. These deep blue waters the people of Ryushima Coast so dearly love. Farewell, Amaterasu. I shall pray for your good fortune.